Hello Facebookers, uh, did a little demo to address a controversy that uh, about an open bank and parallel with another open bank. Uh, Don Beck originally posed the question, it caused a lot of controversy and I did post uh, this weekend that I would try to do a demo on this to show. Um, so what we have here, we have three phase power from our building coming to our power supply. Power supply is connected to the first pole, which energizes the primary for our example here. Normally these poles are all fed through the pole internally, and we have connections up above where we connect our transformers. But for this demonstration, I jury rigged these overhead wires so we can clearly see uh, A phase, B phase, and C phase. Wanted to make sure there was no question that we weren't trying to pull a fast one here on this one. So I do have everything opened up so it's physically uh, uh, able to see everything instead of have it concealed inside the pole. Normally this setup doesn't look this cluttered. Um, so, so what we have here is we have our first bank connected to A phase and B phase. This is the dead end pole that Don talks about. We continue on from the dead end pole with just B phase and C phase to energize the new bank that we're going to attempt to phase in with the first bank. So the question was, can a bank that's connected from A phase to B phase be paralleled with a bank that's connected from B phase to C phase? So that's what the original question was that Don offered. Um, and there's been a lot of discussion on whether this is possible or not possible. So we decided to build this and uh, see what happens. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna energize the system. So this rotation meter is hooked up to the primary and then we go through, by the way, these transformers are actual transformers. There's a primary and a secondary winding in the transformers. And uh, the voltage that comes out of these transformers is real 120, 240 with a 208 volt wild leg. Wild leg, stinger, high leg, whatever you call it. A lot of different people call it a lot of different names. So this is our primary coming in. And we have a one, two, three rotation on the primary coming in. So we go through, everything is energized now. Both banks are energized. So first bank has a one, two, three rotation. We come over to the second bank. We have a one, two, three rotation, okay? Also, I wanted to show on these banks, I do have a real motor. Again, I told you these were real voltages. So we're gonna hook up a little AC three phase motor. Just to show that uh, what we have here is real. Got a little piece of tape on the shaft so you can see it rotation. We see the rotation. Here the motor's firing up and operating. Okay. So, and I can hook the motor up to the second bank also, um, but we'll save that for a minute here. So the question is, can I have a bank A phase to B phase parallel in with a bank B phase to C phase? And so we're gonna go ahead and re-energize again and I think I'll just go maybe to the back side here and uh, so I wonder if I can just hang this thing from the neutral. Will that work, Scott? Oops, going to turn on us? Yeah, I can move back. You can move back? Okay. And it is still on, uh, it's on the right scale, is it still on? Oop, got the power off. There we go. Okay, so I get the leads on twisted here. So we're gonna go from A phase to A phase. And what do we have, Scott? A little bit of voltage. This is the one where I think we had a couple volts. Nine. Nine volts. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next phase down, a, a wrong phase. Should be some pretty good voltage there. Let's move around. There we go. 268. Okay, our banks tend to run a little high because we're, we're uh, these actually step down transformers that we're, uh, we're back feeding. They run a little bit high. I can go to the bottom one over here, a wrong phase again. So we've got voltage. So if you want to pan out, Scott, show here that I'm on the top two now again. And that's where we had uh, just a couple, nine volts. Our, volt, our voltage supply in the building here allows... That's yeah, 0.6. Oh, we're not on it then on one of them. How's that? 0.6 still. What am I doing here? Let's go to the... We're matching phases though, aren't you? Yeah. So it's 0.6. Okay, it is that close. Yep. 
Okay, because so we're both on B phase. All right, yep. It's the wild one that ended up a little bit further. So I'm going to drop down to the next two. What do we have? 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6. And on the wild, because that's the one in question, I think more than anything else, we do get a little bit here. 12. 12 volts we're getting. We had 9 earlier. 13. Um, so we do get a little bit of voltage there. And the reason we're doing getting a little bit of voltage here is because we're coming off of two different phases. This building is a 122, or excuse me, a 12240 delta. So the voltage loading is a little bit imbalanced. So we don't get exact 240 phase to phase, phase to phase, phase to phase on our power coming into the building. So that does, uh, oops, show that here. Uh, we should get a little bit of a different discrepancy here. Um, this is from our power source. Now it's 222. This is coming in from the building. Um, 221, and these these would uh, these would be coordinate with 208. Excuse me, not 240. So we get 225. So they, it does vary a little bit, and uh, because we're running off of two different phases with this bank, um, that's where we're showing just a couple volts in between. It's not enough that's going to cause us a problem for phasing the two banks in though. Um, in reality, if you ever phased in two transfer banks, due to the loading on each bank, you are going to get a little bit of a discrepancy. Um, if you've ever um, phased banks together, sometimes you get a little bit of a spark. I do want to caution though, phasing banks in together, there's a lot of discrepancy and if that's a good idea or not, there's a lot of fault current available. If you do do something wrong, there's a potential for a lot of bad things to happen. So I don't necessarily recommend phasing banks together. If you can do with an outage, it's safer to do it with an outage. I know there are circumstances that uh, um, some linemen do tend to uh, parallel banks. It's going to depend on company policy. But there is definitely hazards uh, available. So face shield, fire retardant, clothing, um, things like that. Also, um, there's an, another topic uh, got brought up in the thread about checking all three phases. There is a possibility of getting these banks 180 out where three of the wires will phase and a fourth one won't. Um, I've actually seen that happen on the job where the wild wasn't checked and they were 180 out. If they're 180 out, you end up with 416 volts on it. So always check all the phases before you attempt to do a parallel in two banks, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, shut this thing off. And I'm going to parallel the two banks. Uh, let's go ahead and put our hold card in too. Lock out, tag out, okay? Um, so I'm gonna come over here, I'm just gonna pull this. I got a red, white, and blue, I'm not gonna change anything. So I'm gonna take my red one from over here and tie it in with the top one. I'm gonna take my white one, B phase, tie it in, and go to C phase. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that one free. I'm gonna leave that one free, I'm gonna do that one energized. Okay, put this bank back, or this, uh, uh, it's not gonna work if I do that though, so I'm gonna get my, I'll put my rotation meter on energized. I got my gloves on. That one fell out, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and re-energize. So I've got two of them tied together. Um, I can come over here and just double check. I just wanna make sure we're clear that I'm not doing any, anything uh, sleight of hand. There we still got our one, two, three rotation. We still got our one, two, three rotation. I already connected two. I'm gonna go ahead and do the wild. We're doing the wild on the bottom. It comes from the kicker, power transformer. I just about swung them together. Um, just go ahead it again. So we'll go ahead and bring it in and connect it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect my rotation meter. Now that the banks are phased together, operating as one, She'll have a one, two, three rotation. One thing I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the cutouts on the first bank. So I'm gonna drop the cutouts on the first bank and we still have our rotation. We still have our bank functioning. Now if Scott keeps the video on that one, I'm gonna drop the cutouts on the first bank. Did I lose it? Okay, so I just opened the cutouts on this other bank. Now I can come back to the first bank and re-energize this bank. So now this bank is back feeding the first transformer. Back to our one, through two, one, two, three rotation. Again, I'll close in my first bank again. 
and back closed again. And the banks are operating as a uh, parallel bank. Uh, I'm going to shut off once more and put my motor back up one more time to our junction point where the two banks are connected. And they fell apart. Nothing's touching. So go ahead and re-energize one last time. The motor's running. Two banks are running together. Um, if you want to show one more time, Scott, I'm going to go up. If you show here, I'm going to open these two cutouts. So this bank is now open. And I lost the wire also. So now bank is now open. How's our motor doing? Still running. Still running. So now we're running off the second parallel bank. Okay, if I drop the cutouts on both banks, of course, the motor will cease to operate. And there she shut, oops, she shut down. Yep. So I can close it in here and run my motor. This is my BC bank. I can come over to my AB bank. Start my motor or run them in parallel to each other. Okay. Um, so what we've done, guys, is basically it's just like a closed bank. A closed bank would have all three transformers. So if I had a closed bank and another closed bank, they would face together as long as the angular displacement was correct. In other words, they're on the same side of the pole, fed by the same rotation. This is what we have here. By connecting one A and B and the other one B and C, think of it as a closed bank. Only thing is we've got two lighter transformers because they're both fed by B phase. Both of these are fed by B phase. So right now, we're basically running a grounded wide delta bank. A phase over here, C phase over here. So all we're doing is we're creating, uh, this transformers take care of one side of the triangle, this one's taking care of the other side of the triangle, and these two are taking care of the same side of the triangle. So it's acting just like a grounded wide delta closed bank at this point. So to answer the question, you can absolutely phase two banks, one fed from A and B, the other one fed from B and C, you can successfully parallel them. Thank you very much.